When you say chowder head, is that Mike or Donnie? It's, uh, there's a few chowder heads. They're both of them. Oh yeah, baby. How's it going? God, I tell you what, it's a task. A little engine dangling here. Is this the old engine? Is that the old engine? Which one? This one. Well, that's a new engine. That's a new engine. This is the old one down here. And why? What's the difference? Why do you well, like? Well, it's just sacrilege to have a gas pot in this thing. You need to have a diesel engine in your cat. Like you can't, it just doesn't work that way. So anyways, I got this engine like that off chowder head on a deal about probably three years ago. And it is, uh, that's 18 horse gas. This is, I do believe 10 horse diesel. Now, the torque on this motor is probably more than the torque on that motor. So it'll run the pump right here. This pump runs it not that fast. This one here? Yeah, it probably runs at 2000 RPM wide open this pump. So it should be all right, but as a novelty to get an extra, if I get another 30% out of this motor, which is quite a bit, I put a turbo on it, so if I get 30% out of it, I get another three horse out of it. <laughs> you put a turbo on it? Right here, I put a turbo on her, right there. So, through the process of it, yeah. It, uh, she's a fire breather. I can see you getting into mini uh, cat uh, restoration or stuff. Yeah. Uh, the neat thing about it is. Well, the engine's nice and nice and small. It's all sm it's light enough to deal with on your well, own. Well, you can just about you can just about pack that motor around by yourself. But there. That's it. Where do you, what about the motor mounts? Well, I haven't got around to getting that far yet, Matthew. I'm just starting. I got the drive coupler and flywheel. It's over at Jimmy Carter's. And uh, when I get that coupler made, then I have to build a bracket for here to hold the pump. Okay, yeah. To hold the pump. And uh, yeah. But I tell you what, does not look a lot better than that motor in there. Like, yes, even I understand that. It looks, yeah, so. This comes out of a Thermal King reefer right here. So when you say chowder heads, is that Mike or Donnie? It's, uh, there's a few chowder heads. They're both of them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I got a radiator coming. Yeah. The ratchet is in there. I got my fan. I don't know whether this fan will either have to get mounted on the outside right here, yeah. on the outside, or. By the time the radiator's on there, I don't know what the thickness is, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. It could go on the outside just as well as it can go on the inside, so it doesn't matter. But it's kind of cool. 10 horsepower, turbocharged diesel. Can I see a question? What? Does it make you happy? It does, actually. It's one of the funnest things that I've worked on in a while. It actually does make me happy to piss around with this thing. Why, I don't know. I'm gonna mount my alternator. The other one that was on there was too big. But now that I've uh, put the turbo on here, it's about this far away from the exhaust pipe. So the alternator right here is where it went. So I'll mount it down here. It'll get mounted down here like that. There, somewhere in there, it'll get mounted right there like that. Is where it'll get mounted and the muffler right here just like that just like that it'll come out a little bit but yeah i guess it really doesn't really matter how loud is it going to be uh it'll sound cool i think yeah i'm curious whether the turbo does anything or not i don't know it should the little bit that i read about it this here is 450 cc's this motor half a liter 
And this turbo is supposed to be good for half a liter, supposedly. Like, don't believe everything you read on the internet. It says I'm worth $2 million. Yeah, <sighs> wish. <laughs> okay, cool. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing, just pissing around here a little bit with that. Um, well, I also got a winch. I also got a winch here that I picked up. But you can't have a cat without having a winch on it. I got stuck the other day in a sippy hole and Gripper had to come and pull me out. If I'd have had a winch, I wouldn't have had to call him. I'd have saved myself a couple hundred dollars. So, so anyways, I'm mounting this winch. Jesus, it's a big winch. Yeah. 12,000 pounds. Yeah. I'll mount that back in here, but I gotta change this here. I gotta change the ripper mechanism around. I got some uh, some other rams here that I'm gonna put on there. I see the shop is clear here. I cleaned the whole shop up. I come back in here and him and his buddy are buying brand new Dodge trucks, not new Dodge trucks, they're buying new Dodge trucks that are too rusted out or that haven't passed inspection. So they're buying them and they're parting them out. And uh, the really nice fortunate part about them is, is uh, now that I got room in here, it's turned into their story, Jerry, with their junk. my ripper what are those for that's for the ripper right here but it'll work <laughs> it'll serve a double purpose okay when i'm using the winch i can take this ripper and i can dig it into the dirt and i can use it for hold back on the cat so it's kind of like on your tow truck when you got the newer tow trucks i see got little spades or something that come down on them that dig into the dirt so they don't go back so that'll be the same thing i'll put a, like a blade on the back of here on the back of this ripper and I'll push it down and it'll dig in the dirt and it'll work like an anchor. And uh, it should just be kind of neat. Can you pull a car out of the ditch with this? Um, yes, I can pull a car out of the ditch with this all day long. That'd be cool to see. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it's got a big enough winch. Anything to 12,000 pounds will pull, this will pull. The only thing that limits with this single pole is the winch. You can tie the front end off to a tree. They can stake the back end here to something. And it's like a small power pack. It's got lots of hydraulics here for that winch. So, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. But yeah, anyways, it was running perfectly fine, by the way. But it just, it's... That was my question. There is absolutely nothing the matter with it. But you know how that works? It is what it is. 